Um, I'd like to also acknowledge the efforts of Lead West in organising tonight's forum. Um, I think it's great because what it's done is it, it has given, because this question comes up often for me is, uh, Justin, we'd like an opportunity to ask you some questions with other candidates present, and here it is. This is the first one so far, and I welcome many more in the future as well, hopefully before the election. Um, for those, just a brief background, um, I, have, I served initially, as far as my understanding and knowledge of what is occurring in Melton, and its needs. I served on Melton Council for eight years and was Mayor of Melton for four years also. I am married with three children. That's just a little bit about me. The main things that have been raised with me, not only as a candidate for the Australian Labor Party, but also as a member of the community, is concerns surrounding the growth and ensuring that we can maintain that growth and it's sustainable with obviously services and infrastructure being delivered. One of the main things that has been uh, raised with me is a need for a public hospital in Melton. And of course I'm very familiar with that given that I and other councillors and members of the community, some that I will see within the crowd this evening, uh, initiated that campaign on Melton Council in 2011. And I'd like to congratulate the council for continuing to advocate for that. I'd also like to say that the Labor government has certainly been very interested to hear more about the need for a hospital. They acknowledge the needs of a growing population. For example, when we speak of health, the Labor government has delivered $21 million for the Mountain Health in Barry's Road. Uh, $10.59 million has gone towards Bacchus Marsh Mountain Regional Hospital. Is that my three minutes, was it? Uh, one minute. One, one minute. minute. Thank you. Yeah. So, in, 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 in regard to the understanding of the needs within Melton, I think as far as health is concerned, the Labor government has responded and are also, also looking at potential sites for a hospital in Melton, with the uh, cooperation obviously and assistance and strong push from the local council. In regard to roads, one thing that's often raised with me and it's something that I will continue to advocate for when we talk about roads infrastructure, there have been several millions of dollars um, funded in the Melton electorate alone for roads infrastructure under this government, uh, particularly uh, resurfing, resurfacing along Melton Highway. Uh, and one thing while I mention that, and as my, um, my um, opposition, should I say, mentioned earlier, I am looking forward to more questions in regard to some of the concerns that you have, because I, that's why I'm particularly here tonight. I'd say that's two minutes. That's three, I'm finished. <laughs> right, in closing, I had much more I wanted to say. I wasn't worried about the three minutes, but I look forward to closing earlier and answering some of your questions as well, because there's much more I'd like to speak about, particularly in regard to education. Thank you very much.